The Nordic Institute of Dental Materials presents Minimal Intervention Dentistry All caries lesions do not need operative treatment by Dr. Simon E. Copperwood. The newsletter presents a newly published paper based on results from a questionnaire study performed in 2009 by the University of Oslo. The results are still highly relevant as they demonstrate a noteworthy gradual trend towards minimal intervention dentistry amongst Norwegian dentists. Minimal intervention dentistry is a modern dental practice designed around a principal aim of preservation of as much of the natural tooth structure as possible. The concept recognizes the fact that all carious lesions do not need operative treatment. In some cases, the lesions should rather be treated by preventive methods. It is well known today that diet instructions, proper oral hygiene and use of fluorides can arrest the carious process. All dental restorations have a limited lifespan and will eventually need replacement or repair. It is shown that the size of the cavity increases every time a restoration is replaced. This may in the long run lead to a possible destruction of the tooth, a so-called death spiral. Therefore, it is important that dentists do not initiate operative treatment of dental caries until it's absolutely necessary. An electronic questionnaire study was performed by Dr. Koperud and his colleagues. The aim was to explore dentist's threshold for instigating operative treatment of carious lesions. The survey was distributed to all dentists in the member register of the Norwegian Dental Association. The respondents were shown images of approximal and occlusal carious lesions of increasing severity and were asked to point out which lesions they considered were in need of operative treatment. The dentist's responses were compared with results from identical surveys performed in 1983 and 1995. A significant decrease was revealed in the number of dentists who would treat operatively enamel lesions. Only 7.0% of the dentists would initiate operative treatment of approximal carious lesions confined to the enamel, compared with 18.3% .3 in 1995 and 65.6% in 1983. The amount of dentists who would treat operatively occlusal caries lesions decreased from 17.8% to 12.4%. The concept of minimal intervention dentistry seems to have been adopted by the majority of dentists. This indicates that most dentists take into account that caries is a slowly progressing disease and that lesions can be arrested. For more information, please visit www.neon.no.